I'm Coach Daniel, and if you want to sleep amazingly well for the rest of your life, this channel is for you. A very special episode today. I have the pleasure to share with you that the book I've been working on, Set It and Forget It, is done. Yay! We're going to read a chapter from it that I hope will bring a lot of value, and I'm going to share with you why you should tell everyone you know about it for a reason that may be surprising to you. Welcome back. Super, super excited having you here because I'm really just so happy to be able to share with you that that book I've been talking about for a while is done. And uh, before we, you know, read a chapter from it that I hope you'll learn something valuable from, just a few words on like the backstory. You know, I, I've been, I've been, you know, I, I've been, as you know, I've been uh, uh, thinking a lot over the past two years about, you know, insomnia, how how to get past it, what's valuable to know, you know, insights, tips, and, and stuff like that. Most of, by the way, which I've learned from, you know, people like yourself, people who've uh, listened, who've left comments, sent emails, you know, that has been invaluable. That has been like where I've learned the most. Um, but uh, so, you know, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, I love video because it's a very direct medium. And, you know, if you listen to this on a podcast too, I love just talking or interacting over video. I'm not that patient uh, so that, you know, a book comes easy to me. So what I did, you know, was I decided I'm going to write uh, one or two blog posts every week with with the mindset of putting that together as a book. And I started maybe like six, seven months ago. And that really worked well for me because I could write this blog post and then immediately publish it. And that, that, that really kept my momentum going. And then I had this material that I could like shaved down into a book and uh, I want to you know briefly here just thank thank Nick Wignall psychologist who's, who's guested this show several times he was the one who coined or like or put the you know to me taught me how set it and forget it works so well when it comes to sleep and of course uh, Michael Schwartz my friend and colleague uh, uh, and and Martin Reed as well uh, so much inspiration and um, insights there that have gone into this book so with that said uh, let's take a look at a chapter that I chose, it's, it's kind of become my favorite chapter, mainly to be honest with you, because of this nice illustration. So every chapter has uh, an illustration like that one. So this one is called Don't Wait Another Day. Let's read it. We are often told that we need to get a sufficient amount of good quality sleep in order to have the energy to do that thing. That thing you wanted to do that insomnia has kept you from doing. Signing your kids up for skating classes, learning to play the banjo, visiting that friend in Singapore. There's been that thing you just put off until you sleep better. You have to do it now. Because whomever is telling you to wait, get it all backwards. And that may include yourself. Now here's why. Firstly, great sleep happens when there's no effort. That person who always sleeps amazingly well does that because she's not trying at all. When you're keeping a mental list of things you will do when you're sleeping better, you're creating performance anxiety. Whatever you'll do, uh, things, uh, uh, whether you'll do things that are enjoyable and meaningful depends on how well you sleep. Sleep becomes the gateway to a good life. Too much pressure. Secondly, a great night follows a great day. And yes, you're more likely to have a great day if you had a great night. But which do you have most control over? That's right, you have much more control over what you do during the day. You can do things you enjoy, even when you feel tired. When you have a better day and stay focused on something other than sleep, you have a better night. When you have a better night, you'll have an even better day. You see where this is going. Now, if you do that thing today, that thing you've been putting off, you're proving that you can do anything you want, even if you're not sleeping great. You're proving whomever is saying you can't wrong. And that's always fun. But more importantly, you're showing yourself that sleeping a certain amount is not a requirement to enjoy life. And when there's less pressure, beautiful sleep happens. Hope you found that really valuable. And uh, it was my wife who handpicked all the illustrations. She kind of, you know, created them, like came up with the ideas. And I love this one. It is, as you can see, somebody who's like recovering. They're still in a wheelchair. But that doesn't keep them from like going after that thing that they really enjoy. And so, uh, uh, in, in fact, uh, more than anyone, actually, my wife made this book a really great one. 
and our Illustrator LA as well. So uh, with that said, uh, I want to share with you before I let you go, the reason I think you should tell everyone you know about this book. It is not that it's the greatest book ever on insomnia. I leave that you know up to you or whomever to decide. Um, and it's not because it's beautifully padded with all these iconic illustrations, making it an easy read. It is because of this. Check this out. So uh, on the book, in fact, on the back cover here, I've left a, a phone number where anyone who's reading the book and has a question can just send a text. And if it's a quick question, I'll just text back. If not, I'll be like, oh, I'll reply in an Ask Dial episode. So I think that's, that this is, that's the real value of the book is that you can connect immediately with the author and there's like hundreds and hundreds of hours of free content that contextualizes everything in the book. So please tell everybody that has trouble sleeping to uh, consider buying Set It and Forget It. So with that said, uh, um, super happy. I'm so glad I could share this with you today. And um, any questions about anything, as you know, leave a comment or send a, a an email to questions at thesleepcoachschool.com. And I look forward to having you back here tomorrow. Until then, take it easy.